Hi there, my name is Dane Reese and I am an aspiring opera singer. Opera is one of the oldest Italian forms there are. Um, it is literally their way of storytelling through music. I personally am a lover of music. My iPod has Jay-Z to, to Lady Gaga to Handel to Tchaikovsky to musical theater and everything in between. Grew up in Texas, um, was born and raised there my whole life. My father actually was a singer in college. Um, fantastic tenor, wonderful, wonderful tenor, beautiful voice, big. But his stage fright always got the better of him. So he really pushed my sister and I toward the arts. He got me into uh, Texas Boys Choir at a very young age, at about the age of five. Uh, that's really when I started training. When you're in Texas Boys Choir, then it's, then it's a lot of fun, it's great. It's when you go out of Texas Boys Choir and people say, oh, well, what do you do in your free time? Well, I sing in a boys choir. You know, your peers are sort of like, nah, we're going to beat up on you now because you're a little weakling who sings. <laughs> and so <laughs> that was a little tough, especially in, in, in Texas. I mean, if it's not country, it's something that they don't really have a name for. <laughs> also, when I was younger, I had actually very, very poor hearing, too, um, which is pretty incredible being an opera singer now. I was born about two or three weeks premature. The inside of my ears hadn't really developed. I had horrible hearing problems. I had to get tubes in my ears for the, for the longest time. After that, because of my hearing difficulties, then I developed this stutter. And forming complete sentences was challenging, was very, very hard. I was in therapy for about three years, just sitting with someone, talking, going over flashcards and retraining my brain and my tongue to sort of work together. Um, it's a problem that I still have today a little bit, and I don't see it as a handicap at all. I see it as something that I am, and it's just a part of me. As an opera singer, um, my life is filled with, um, you know, going to my day job in the day and going to rehearsals at night and, you know, going to rehearsals all throughout the weekend, performances all over the weekend. We're always auditioning, we're always filling out applications, sending out applications. It's a very demanding life, it's, it is very hard, and it's a lot of no's. It's a world full of no's. You have to keep telling yourself that it's subjective. Some people may like your voice and some people may not like your voice. You just have to wait until the one person who does like your voice finally stands up and says, yes, I will hire you. There is nothing better than being on stage and having an entire audience applaud for you. It's true. If you find something you're good at, stick with it. I know one of the things that has really gotten me through is something that I'm proud of and not many people can do it. I found out at a young age, for some reason, I can solve a Rubik's Cube. That has actually gotten me a couple opera gigs. You never know when little things like this, just, you know, you start, you start feeling a rhythm, go with it. See if you can make it into a bigger rhythm. You do a smiley face, see if you can add on to it somehow. That's all it takes. It just takes that little extra, I wonder if I can do this, and I wonder what this would look like. You never know when these little things are gonna blossom into something that's 
yours, that's unique, that's something that no one has ever seen before. Der Mit dem Locken umzugehen und mich aus Schweifen zu verstehen.